Uh, hello guys, uh, today I will show you how to use Eclipse to create a stately spin and run it on JBoss server. Uh, first you need two things, Eclipse of course and the second is JBoss server. I use JBoss file. Ok, let's get started. First, um, you just get new an EJB object project. So let's call this is EJB demo. And uh, you can choose the runtime. I choose 5. This is a uh, uh, version of the EJB. Then click finish. So there's a bunch of libraries here, and uh, the main part is going from here. First, you need to create an interface called IMIB. This is just an inter uh, interface contain um, uh, contains a uh, empty method. We can just uh, simply define method, say, do something. And then, the same thing you need to create a uh, tool of another interfaces. Uh, one is for the local, and another is for the remote. So let's create the local first. Might be. My being local and because uh, it's local, so we can put the here and it should uh, extend what I might be right. Yeah, and we need to do the import. And uh, another is the uh, remote being interface called my being remote. So this should be remote and should also extend from the interface we have created before. Let's do the import here. Yeah. And uh, another is the main class for this bin. So let's should have this main check here. We call it my bin. Finish. And then you can do oh we actually don't need the main function but never mind just put it there so since this is a stainless bin you need put the stainless here let's do the import and uh, we need to implement uh, the a local bin and the uh, and the remote bin together. My bin remote. So just uh, add the add the method here and uh, in here we can just uh, simply say system mm. out
Hello, EJB. Right, and we can remove all of this. Okay, this is pretty much the the beans we have. So we have the interface, basic interface. We have created the local bean, the remote one, and the main main class for the bean. So we can do. We I have a Jabo server here. You can just like, right click on it, click add and remove, and add the EJB demo into this configure. Then click finish. Then you can start the server. It will gonna take a while. Mm. Oh, here, here. We also need to add the serialization ID because it's gonna be the remote object. Mm. Yeah, it's get started. See? Okay. Now we already have our EJB being uh, deployed on the server. So the next thing we're going to do is create a client to call the call the method. So we just click this one. And we can just simply name it client. It also run on JBoss file. So then click finish. Yeah, here. Uh, under here there's a main function. So we can just uh, simply write something here to. Uh, to request from the server. Let's see. Mm. First, I think we can do a try and catch stuff. Yeah. The exception will come next thing. Um, properties, props, new. So we create a new uh, property object here. And uh, let me do the import thing first. Uh, import Java UTU. Yeah. Here, right. Then we can set the props set property. Yeah, the key. First one is the Java naming factory initial and the value of it is org the gmp interface the factory factory right and uh, props set property Java naming factory 
URL PKGs and uh, ORG JBoss because we use JBoss on the server and the uh, props set property Java URL and my uh, local address zero zero one and uh, local port is here and uh, another thing is initial contest xt set new knee and put the props here do the import uh, yeah naming and I can do my being oh before we do that we need to let the project know where you're gonna to uh, get the EJB beans so you just uh, right click on it, go to property and the build path see add external jars here and uh, you go to the server uh, the uh, the server jboss server default right and uh, go to the where is it deploy yeah here no not this one Let's see JB four server uh, default deploying right here. Go to the EJB demo we've just created. Add it to the to the jars and uh, click OK. Then we can do my bin remote bin equals to ctx look up yeah it's pretty much same as in RMI might be remote and uh, there's an arrow oh we need to add a cost yeah that's it and in the catch function the only thing here I think is uh, and another thing is we need we should call the function from the remote server. See here we can call the method in that function in that uh, class do something right. So it will gonna print out something here. So here's the naming exception e, and we just uh, do the print track stuff. Yeah, that's it. Um, let me see. Super, we don't need super. Okay. Uh, let me run this and see how it goes. Run as Java application. Come on. See, hello, UJB. All right. Thank you.